everyone, today's video is an L dollar of the L3, L4. So if you've watched the previous videos that I've done on um, the lumbar L dollar positions, then you'll understand that what we're doing with an L dollar position is basically getting a decompression at that specific level or at that specific joint. So in the spine, we've got five lumbar vertebrae. Um, the decompression exercise that we're going to, to do today is between the L3 and the L4 um, vertebrae. So we've got your sacrum up through here. The first joint is your L5S1. The second one um, going up is L4, L4, L5. And then the one we're going to be working on today is um, L3, L4. So we're looking to decompress that spacing through here and relieve some of that pressure on that specific disc. Now, the position that we get into is very similar to the position that we got into for the L4, L5 stretch. So again, we want to think about having our um, feet out in front of us. Our feet are again in line with our hips. The main difference with this um, stretch compared to the one level below is that now instead of having our legs, our knees bent to 90 degrees, we're going to extend them out slightly. So about 135, 140 degrees. Um, you don't have to be too exact, but just remember that obviously 180 is a straight knee, 90 degrees is a, um, you know, a, a bent knee, basically looks like a corner. So you want to kind of come in between those two. And by opening up that um, extension in through the lower legs, it helps to move that decompression to that level above. Otherwise, the movement um, position and the posture that we get into is very similar to the L4, L5, L dor that I showed in another video. So remembering the main difference, knees are now bent, a little bit more extended to about 135, 140. You want to think again about pressing those knees down to the floor while at the same time everting the feet. So trying to um, basically roll the feet so that the soles of the feet are facing out to the side. It feels a little bit awkward because you're trying to push your knees down, but the intention is what will tension the pressure below and ensure that we get that compression at that level that we're looking at. In regards to the upper limb position, exactly the same as previous, you're going to bring both arms up above you're going to come into external rotation again, and you want to have those arms about shoulder width apart, okay? The maximal part of that stretch again is pushing the arms up towards the ceiling, pressing the, uh, um, the knees down towards the floor and everting the feet. And really important, you've still got that axial extension, so you're thinking about um, flattening of the lumbar and thoracic spine, that slight chin tuck, good and then pushing up, and then knees down to the floor. So really important just to relax, come out of that stretch. Um, what a lot of people do is they will arch the back. Remember you want to, the upper back, sorry. You want to make sure that the thoracic spine is also flattened. So it may feel like you're um, you know, overextending or overarching, but this is where it's obviously really important to get some training with a practitioner as well so that you can be aware of that position. But what you do want to make sure is that your, your thoracic spine as well as your lumbar spine is nice and straight, okay? So we want to have a nice flat um, thoracic and lumbar spine as we go into that position to get that maximal stretch and that compression at that L345 position. So again, end position will look like this. And we're thinking about pushing up, pressing down, Key things, um, again, leg position is slightly different to the L45 um, L dollar. What we do is we have the legs in about 135 degrees of flexion, and that helps to bring that decompression to that L34 um, joint. From the side, what that looks like is feet are about hip width apart, but you can see those legs are extended slightly forward ahead of me. You want to flatten the lower and upper back, so we're not rounding, we're not arching, we're flattening. So really use your abs to help flatten your back. Think about drawing the abs in. Slight chin tuck to extend that axial extension all the way up through to the top of the head. And the arms are coming up into external rotation, pressing the knees down, pushing the arms up. And relax. And remember, really important to keep breathing throughout that 
movement. Um, one minute maximal hold is what you're aiming for. The best time to do these Aldoa stretches are at the end of the day because it then gives those discs um, a chance, at least over that eight or nine hours that you're sleeping and lying on your back, on your side, the chance to basically rehydrate and get the most benefit from that decompression that you've just given it. You can do it in the morning, um, but remember during the day, you're basically going to be walking around, gravity's going to be pushing, naturally pulling you down and pressing that spine. Um, but again, just doing it any time during the day is going to be a lot better than not doing it at all. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.